Welcome everybody, welcome to a new series on the channel, The Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky. For those who've been following me a bit on Twitter, on Twitch, YouTube and such, probably has heard me talk about this game regularly over the last year. For wanting to play the game, play the series, but holding off on it for quite some time, all because if I want to start this game, I don't only want to do this game, I want to do all the games. So, all the Trails in the Sky, Cold Steel and the Crossbell uh, games. And realizing that means it's going to be a hell of an investment. But after all the things I've been hearing from people uh, all around, it's worth while the entire journey. So. Today, today we are going to start it, our journey through the Legend of Heroes. An entire world created by uh, Falcon. Let's uh, not keep talking about it, let's just get straight into it and let's start this game. A normal average difficulty for those wanting a little challenge. A difficult setting for those who want normal but lacking. It's your funeral, may Adios be with you. Now we're just gonna play on normal here. Hmm. Daddy's really late. I even got a message from the guild saying he'd be home today too. And Shiro's gone traveling around the kingdom on some kind of training. Uh, I'm so bored. Maybe I'll just practice with my staff a bit more before dinner. Hey, I'm home. Daddy. Sorry to have uh, kept you waiting, Estelle. Did you take good care of the house while I was away? <laughs> of course I did. Did you run into trouble, Daddy? You didn't get hurt fighting the bad monsters, did you? Nope. I'm as fit as a fiddle. That reminds me though. I brought you a present. Really? What kind of present? A new fishing pole? Sneakers? <laughs> Something for my training? Hmm... Maybe I raised you wrong, Estelle. Are little girls supposed to like clothes and jewelry? I like pretty clothes, but they just get dirty. And jewelry breaks when you go play outside with it on. Anyway, Daddy, what's with the big blanket? Is that my present? Ah, you're a sharp one. Now, why don't you come over here and have a look? The present is a boy? Even if you just talked about raising her wrong, I don't think you're making the necessary steps to make it better. What? Well, here you are. Quite a handsome boy, don't you think? What, 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 what? Why is my present a boy? Don't make such a fuss or you'll wake him up. Wake him up? You mean he's still alive? Looks kinda dead if you ask me. After this wound, so he should be in stable condition. In the meantime, however, we'll need to let him rest. I'll put him to bed, so if you wouldn't mind heating a kettle of water on the stove, I'd really appreciate it. Okay. What does it feel like? This isn't the first time he brought uh, somebody home uh, all damaged up. Or Estelle is just dealing with it quite nicely. He sure sleeps soundly. And he almost looks the same age as me. This is the first time I've ever seen black hair like that uh, too. He certainly does have a nice head of dark hair. And a pair of amber eyes to go with it. Hmm. That's uh, nice and all, but how about you come clean and fess up? Fess up? Yeah, who is this kid anyway? And why is he hurt? Why did you bring him to our house? Is he an uh, illegitimate made child or something? Did you betray mom? Where have you been picking up these kinds of words? No doubt from Sherazard, uh, I assume. Yep, that's right. 
Oh, for heaven's sake. That girl is going to get me into trouble one of these days with all her nonsense. Actually, I just met this boy while I was out on business. And I don't even know his name. You mean... Bracer business? Oh, something like that. Oh, look. Hm? He's waking up. Hmm. Wow. His eyes really are the color of amber. Where am I? Ah, so you're awake now, are you? Welcome to my humble home. You'll be safe here. So please, just try to rest. What are you trying to pull? Hmm? You must be out of your mind. Well, why? Why did you just leave me there to die? Why? No, that's a question I don't know how to answer. Does things just work out that way work for you? Don't toy with me, Cassius Bright. Do you have any idea what you're getting yourself involved with? Hey. <laughs> you're you're just, just sure shouting a lot for someone who's supposed to be hurt. Running your mouth like that is just gonna make it longer for your body to heal. And uh, just who are you supposed to be? I'm Estelle. Estelle Bright. She's my daughter. Don't you remember me telling you that I have a daughter your age? Now that you mention it. Wait a minute, don't try and change the sub. <laughs> Ow! Quit yelling! You can already see, Estelle knows how to handle a guy. Definitely. <laughs> alright, alright already! But you jumping on me like that isn't going to make me heal any faster either. I don't hear you yelling again, do I? Look, jumping on me like that is just going to make things worse. Do I hear yelling? <sighs> Never mind, just forget it. As a word of advice, it would be wise not to argue with Estelle when you're in this house. Even I wouldn't stand a chance if I made her mad enough. Yeah, I can see that. By the way, aren't you forgetting something? Hm? Your name, you know, the thing that people call you. I told you mine already, so... Don't you think it would be unfair and impolite not to tell me yours? Oh. It seems like the logical thing to do, if you ask me. Trying to hide it now would only serve to your detriment. Fine. The name is... And he passes out, down cold. And there it is, Goosebumps by the intro. It's already off to a great start, isn't it? The Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky. <laughs> Let's start this journey. Probably all a lot of characters we're going to meet along the way. Aerial battles. And right at the center, <laughs> those two.
skipping out on the intro, are they? Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. If you really want to start getting interested in the story, this is absolutely one of the better ways to do it. Interesting characters. Interesting vistas. Aerial battles, come on. Nice early mornings, the birds waking up, chirping. It's a brand new day. Ah, she definitely looks a little bit older here. Hmm, it's so bright in here. Uh, I snapped like a rock. Hmm, that must mean it's that turn to uh, cook this morning. I wonder if that means Joshua's still in bed. <laughs> I guess that's a no. Well, I guess I better get myself ready then too. Joshua. Bravo. Oh, good morning, Estelle. <laughs> I hope I didn't wake you. Nah, I was already up when I heard you start play. I can't believe how awake you are, though. Even the roosters still have bags on their eyes. Not that I mind, though. What with that siren song of yours gently lulling this beautiful woman from her slumber. What do you mean, woman? We're the same age and I'm hardly a man. Disc, disc, disc. How wrong you are, Joshua. We may be the same age, but I am clearly the woman of the house. And that makes you something like my loyal follower, wouldn't you agree? Yeah, yeah. How fortunate for you. You could at least try and sound a tiny bit sincere. It really is a nice gene, uh, though. Cheerful, yet somehow wistful. I like your uh, other songs too, of course, but this one is definitely my favorite. Uh, what's it called again? The Whereabouts of Light. Ah, that's right, The Whereabouts of Light. I wish I could play the harmonica like you, Joshua. Sadly, it's a lot harder than it looks. Compared to what it takes to use a staff, I think the harmonica is much easier. It's really just a matter of concentration. Yeah, you're probably right. I guess my problem is just that if I don't do something that uses my whole body, I just start feeling drowsy. Okay, playing the harmonica is fine and all, but how about getting some exercise too? All your hobbies are sitting around, kind of stuff like reading and books. No girl is gonna be impressed with just that. Well, excuse me for being so unpopular with the ladies. Although, I feel like I should be the one lecturing you about your hobbies. I mean, what kind of boy wants a girl who loves fishing, collecting bugs and has a fetish for sports shoes? Uh, that's enough talk about uh, hobbies for now. And for your information, I graduated from bug collecting a long time ago. Really? I believe that when I stopped finding beetles in the hallway. Hey, Estelle, Joshua! Morning, Dad. Good morning, Dad. Is breakfast ready? It's ready and waiting. Why don't you both off, uh, hurry on down before it gets cold? Okay. I'm on my way. Yeah, so uh, basically Joshua has been adopted in the Bright family, becoming a true member of the family. And I think this is definitely a few years later than uh, when he brought him back in. Uh, thanks for the grub, Dad. Boy, am I stuffed. Are you eating or inhaling, Estelle? 
Hmm. Like people say, get to eat and sleep a lot, grow a lot. Well, make sure you get enough to eat, but don't forget to pour that energy in your work too. That reminds me. You two are finishing up your training at the guild today, aren't you? That's right. <laughs> It'll be a review of everything we've learned up to this point. And once we're finished, we'll be bracers, just like you, Dad. That means I'm not going to let you treat me like a kid anymore either. You still lack understanding, Estelle. You can only become a junior bracer in the beginning. Or in other words, a trainee. If you want to be treated like an adult, then you should work extra hard in your training to become a full-fledged bracer. Well, I'm not afraid of a little hard work. Just you watch and see what I'm capable of, Dad. I'll be so successful that it won't be long before I surpass you too. <laughs> That's the spirit. Let's see what you're made of then, shall we? Ah, oh, let's not start our rivalry here, you two. And Estelle, keep your focus on the task at hand. We have a test later on today, remember? Hm? Wait, what test? Uh, please tell me that you didn't forget about the test, Estelle. You know, the one that checks whether or not we are master the skills we've been learning in training. Don't you remember Shira saying that if we failed, we'd be stuck with a ton of extra homework? Crap! I totally forgot. Now that you mention it, I guess I kind of remember saying something like that. Don't sweat it. I'm sure we'll manage somehow or the other. I honestly don't know how you've survived this long, Estelle. Your brain is like a sieve. Papa is sad. How could any child of mine end up with such a careless, over-optimistic personality? Hey, you're the one that raised me, so I definitely got it from you. I swear, the two of you act so much alike, but whatever. But you probably head over to the guild soon, Estelle. Shira's going to be waiting there for us. Sounds like a plan. You know how crazy uh, scary she gets when someone keeps her waiting? Oh, before I forget, it's my turn to cook dinner tonight. Is there anything in particular you'd like to eat, Dad? Any request? Hmm, something I'd like to eat, huh? How about ruin style scallop fish in a balsamic vinegar sauce? What is that? I think that's a little more than Estelle's cooking skills can handle. Or our stomachs. <laughs> You're right, I just wanted to see what kind of reaction I could get. Let's have the usual fried fish and omelette. No need for anything fancy, but do try to make something edible. How rude. Well, that can't actually say he's wrong. Actually, I do have one favor to ask before you head out. I'd like you to pick me a copy of the liberal news from the general goods store. They are supposed to be getting the latest edition in today. Got it. One copy of the liberal news from the general goods store. Received 500 Mira. If there's any money left over, you can have it as your allowance. However, that means no wasteful spending. Alright, thanks Dad. Okay, we're heading out now. See you later Dad. Work hard and give Gerizard my regards. Ah, uh, we are finally off. By the way Dad, is it going to be alright if you stay at home like this instead of going to the guild today? You haven't been there for a couple of days now. Unfortunately, I have a lot of paperwork to sort out. But don't worry. I'm carrying a big enough workload that the guild is not likely to fire me anytime soon. That's not exactly the most convincing thing I've heard come out of your mouth. Yeah, and you gotta love the interaction between those two. Definitely father and daughter. Because you can only uh, go against each other like that if you're family, definitely. And Joshua just seemed to be uh, fitting in quite nicely as well. But Estelle, <laughs> so far the character is amazing. Love it. Alright, so we're on our way to town to get basically the latest news for Father. And of course, he's Sherazard about our training. Seeing if we are getting close to becoming actual trainees for the Brazer Guild. Right, let's see, where else can we go? Bright House. Or Roland, south the Garoon Gate. So can we go south, or will we be stopped by the game? 
This will be interesting. Uh, Estelle, one of the city is in the opposite direction. You're not sleepwalking again, are you? Hey, how about you be quiet and keep your comments to yourself? <laughs> hey, I'm, I just wanted to make sure. Because you never know. If you can go to the other way than the game wants you to, you might find treasure a lot earlier than you're supposed to. And making yourself better. Putting aside potential enemies you might uh, come across that you can fight. City of Roland. It looks like we made good time. Not too early or too late either. Well, we just barely graduated from Sunday school. I never dreamt we'd have to study so hard to become bracers. Well, you're in luck. Today's our last day of training. Truth be told though, you're the one who signed up to be a brace in the first place. So, I don't know why you expect to get away with any less effort. Well, yeah, I guess I did. Alright then, let's go, <laughs> let's get, get to it and make it through this last hazing from Shara. You look ready to me. Let's go meet Shara at the Razor Guild over there then. Alright, so, as with most RPGs and especially with this one, seeing as these involve so many games, so many history, lore is going to be extremely important. I'm going to travel around the entirety of the town, talking to people, setting the sights, and before we go to Brazer Guild, having talked to everyone, let me know what's going on in this city and if it will help us later on. Uh, the weather is so wonderful and revitalizing today. I have this strange feeling that something good is going to happen. Yeah, we're going to succeed in our training. Ah, uh, that girl is so cute. I've got to be courageous and try to talk to her. My daddy's job is digging holes. And he finds lots of pretty rocks inside. He says they're called septium. Okay, so her dad is a miner, I assume. My husband works in the Malga mine to the north of here. He left here at the crack of dawn. Sometimes he doesn't even come home for days on end. Yep. Confirmation, her dad is a miner. Ooh, that's a little bit too far. Wait, 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 wait. No, there's nobody here. There's a nice little balcony with some plants on it. It would be great for the summer to sit here on the roof. Let's see here. It looks like my husband's gone to work. I better do the housework quickly and head out to take care of the shopping. Farming, mining, timber, those are the three major industries here in Roland. It's no exaggeration to say that these industries are what support Roland economically. The timber industry, which grows forest and in turn uses the trees as a resource, began at Queen Alicia's behest. Thank you for all the lore information, sir. Do appreciate it. I'm pretty sure it will come in handy later on. Let's see what this is. Ah, the Orbal Factory. Hey, I'm still setting up shop. Ah, Estelle and Joshua. You seem to be here rather early. Good morning, Mr. Melders. Good morning, sir. We appreciate you fixing that orbent light the other day. And speaking of orbent lights, isn't that one outside of our house burned out? We should get it replaced ASAP. Orbent sure are a daily life necessity, aren't they? When I was a lad, there weren't any of these orbent uh, thingies. Now we can get fire and light with the mere flip of a switch. And even ships fly in the skies. I don't like it. Don't you get things are way too convenient these days? Ah, oh, crap. There it goes again about the old days. Yeah, well, if you just learned to shut your big trap. Well, when I was young, I made things a reality through hard work and sweat. Sweat, I tell ya. It would be nice if the young kids these days knew the meaning of the phrase hard work. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're probably right. Yep, of course. It's an old guy. He wants to regale us with stories of old. Let's not talk to him again unless we actually absolutely need to. Hey, if it isn't Joshua and Estelle. How are those orphans uh, working out for you? They returned uh, the other time you were here. In your case, Estelle, it's not whether the ornament is good or bad. The problem lies in the way you use it. 
you're always jumping into things without a second thought, so you end up being slow to learn. If you just start thinking before you start swinging, then you learn twice as much. Well, excuse me for sucking. There, there. No need to get upset. Everyone has these problems when they first start out. If you can get the hang of things, you'll gradually be able to handle them better. That's right. I'm going to master using this as quick as I can and surpass even Joshua. Yeah, yeah, whatever. When I first entered the Zeiss Central Factory, I pretty much couldn't use one of these things either. Even you couldn't use one, Freddy? Yeah, but hey, I can still become an engineer if I can't use one. But since you're aiming to go and brace her, you'll have to learn how. Ugh. <laughs> yeah, the confidence of Estelle. Not that great at the moment. It was a beautiful shot though. Good morning, Mr. Renan. Oh, hello there, Estelle. Joshua, you're up rather early today. Did you come to buy a new pair of shoes? Don't you mention it? Are there any new ones in stock? You know, like the newest dragons? Unbelievable. You've actually already forgotten why we came in here to begin with. We're not here to shop. We're supposed to be buying a copy of the liberal news for that, right? <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> You're always being a big collector of those shoes, haven't you, Estelle? I'm afraid that the new strikers aren't out yet. If you're after the latest issue of the Liberal News, though, I should have them in around noon. Noon, huh? Hmm. That's right in the middle of our training at the Guildhouse. We'll stop by again after our training is over. Sure, I'll be waiting for you. We can't shop, though. <laughs> I see no liberal news just yet, just a lot of food stuff and items. Restoring AP, KO, purging. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're gonna have a myriad of all these uh, soon enough. Oh, not yet. The morning air is so crisp and fresh. Let's see, it's what time I water my lovely flowers. Then go at it. Little lady. Ah, she's talking about these flowers, aren't uh, Isn't she? Alright. Let's see, how do we get to the map of the place? That's our status. We'll get that back in a second. Ah, select. Alright. Yeah, I was already wondering if the colors meant anything. Okay, various shops in green, Septian Church in purple, orange for orbital factories, red for the Brazer Guild, and green for lodgings. Yeah, so basically, don't go into the red building and we'll be fine. Because <laughs> uh, that's the one we want to go to last, of course. But that's where Shara is. Top of the morning to you kids. Good morning, Mr. Elgar. Good morning, sir. Well, you're up rather early, aren't you? Correct me if I'm wrong, but today is your last day of training, isn't it? I seem to remember you saying something about it last time. At your on the store? Yeah, that's right. I see. Well, I'm sure you'll do just fine, Joshua. Now Estelle, on the other hand, I've got good reason to worry. She's always been a little scatterbrained ever since she was a child. Probably all the knocks she took on the head playing with the boys. Really? So I guess that scatterbrain trait isn't something new, huh? Hey, I'll give you a head injury if you don't shut up. And don't call me scatterbrained. Okay, you two. Little fight now. And shouldn't you be getting over to the guild? <laughs> like a poke poke by the shopkeeper and Joshua gets the brunt of it. <laughs> Love it. Let's see, what else do you have? Palrod, Kunai. All way above my pay grade at the moment. I'm not gonna buy anything. I just wanna see what everything costs. Because I'm sure if, once we get to a point that we can fight other enemies, we can grind for cash and in turn buy the store entirely empty. Good morning, Stella. Oh my. Well, if it isn't Estelle and Joshua, 
Are you on your way to bracer training? Yeah, and just you watch. I'm going to pass this exam and be as good of a bracer as Shira too. You're darn right you are. I have faith in you. I don't want to tell. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Did you wash your face? How about your teeth? Did you brush them too? Joshua is so fastidious, but you always forget to take care of yourself. Ah, oh, come on. That was a long time ago. I don't do that anymore, right Joshua? Hmm... How did you mention it? You did take off from home the other day with your hair all in a mess, right? <laughs> that was only because it was an emergency. Mr. Renon got the newest tracker brand sneakers in on that day. Estelle! Yes? You listen to me carefully. For a girl your age, you need to take care of these things. If your appearance is messy, you won't look like someone that people can trust even if you're a bracer. Your appearance is a reflection of what's on the inside. Alright, I'll be more careful from now on. <laughs> well, that's that. How about, how about you both get your o on over to the guild? <laughs> and I just can't argue with her. Well, you can technically argue with her, but she is making a few good points, right? Outer appearance is not everything, but it is the first thing people will see and determine how they will react to you, so it's not that strange. And seeing as braces are very important, having a good look might help as well. Oh, Estelle and Joshua, good morning Uni. Aren't Luke and Pat with you today? They were here just a minute ago. The two of them suddenly took off and went somewhere. Ah. Great. I'm seeing that anywhere just yet. And we have a church. The chapel. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. My my, if it's Nestle and Joshua. Good morning. Where are you off to this morning? It must be tough waking up so early. It really does. <laughs> it has been a while since I saw the both of you. I'm impressed to see you visiting the chapel so early in the morning. Good morning, Father Divine. Good morning. You were habitually late and played hooky more than a few times during your Sunday school days, Estelle. So, have you changed your attitude on life since you graduated? <laughs> uh, a bit, I guess? It looks like there's a little time before morning mass begins. So, how about I give you both a special sermon? Uh, no thanks. Why am I getting thrown into the mix here? <laughs> well, Joshua, that's all what they call guilty by association. And you know Estelle? So there's a lot of association there. <laughs> it's almost time for mass. My name is already here, so I best hurry along. Ah, I see another nun that hasn't been dressed yet. Chair here, anything else? Alright. If I believe the map, to be sure, we are now halfway exploring the city of Roland. So I'm thinking of leaving here. Next time we're gonna start by going over the last couple of buildings, the lodgings, the other green building, and maybe check what's up there and to the side to the major residence. And what's up? Because I think that the Malka Trail and Mills Main Road will probably lead out of the city. And after that, we're gonna go to the Brazer Guild and see what kind of challenges Sherazard has for us in case of this uh, Brazer to be training. But that's gonna be next time. Until then, I wish you all a great night, morning, day, wherever you are. And if you're still here after all that, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye bye.